we welcome you on board to decide on the matter of the arbitration between Mega Bank PLC, the claimants from London, and ESGMBH, the respondents, a corporation registered under German laws. On 1st December 2018, FDS in Brazil agreed to sell 10 containers of frozen Brazilian beef to GFGMBH in Germany. The containers were to be shipped from Curitiba in Brazil to Stuttgart in Germany. The transshipment was to be insured by GVAG with a price rate of 500,000 US dollars by irrevocable letter of credit issued by the claimants who were financing this transaction. On 15th December 2018, FDS arranged the carriage of the said beef with DMM in Curitiba, who acted as Brazilian agents for the respondents for collecting the goods by truck from a cold storage outside Curitiba and their delivery to GF's premises outside Stuttgart. On 13 January 2019, DMM issued a multi-dock 95 MMT bill of lading together with an addendum to FDS, acknowledging the receipt of the 10 containers from FDS's premises and agreeing to carry them to GF's premises in Stuttgart Industrial Estate. This bill provided for English law and Singapore arbitration. On 15th January 2019, from Curitiba, the 10 containers arrived by truck in Porto Alegre in Brazil and were immediately shipped on CRGN's coastal reefer vessel Senora Pilar for Santos in Brazil. On 19 January 2019, at Santos, they were transshipped and loaded onto LS's reefer Odysseus C for Europort in Rotterdam. Meanwhile, the MMT bill dispatched by ES was received by MPLC on 19 January, who honoured the letter of credit. On 2 February 2019, from Europort, the containers were loaded onto 10 trucks engaged by the respondents and left in two convoys of five each. Five trucks delivered containers one to five early to GF. The claimants, fearing for GF solvency, asked the respondents to deliver the containers to a cold store in Hamburg selected by them and handed over the MMT bill to ES. ES replied saying that the containers 1 to 5 had already been delivered to GF, but they successfully contacted the drivers of the trucks loaded with containers 6 to 10, who delivered them to Hamburg instead of Stuttgart. By 5th February 2019, it was apparent that GF were entirely insolvent. MPLC immediately took steps to resell containers 6 to 10. However, upon inspection, it became clear that the meat in them was fit only for pet food, for which it was sold the very next day for 74,923 US dollars with sale expenses. The only evidence as to the cause of the spoilage, as per the inspection report by a Hamburg firm of investigators, was that the cold store in Santos, where the meat had been stored during transshipment, had been set to a temperature of minus 7 degrees Celsius instead of minus 18 degrees Celsius. And this must have been obvious to CRGN when they delivered the meat for storage there. The points of claim by MPLC for containers 1 to 5 are claimants were party to the bill and the goods were not delivered to a consignee. Respondents breached the contract by delivering the containers to GF. Alternatively, the respondents converted the containers as claimants had the immediate right to possession. In either case, the claimants are entitled to recover the container's value. For containers 6 to 10, they were not kept at minus 18 degrees Celsius. Alternatively, the defendants breached Article 3, Rule 2 of the Hague Rules. Article 3, Rule 8 of these rules renders Clause A1 of the Bill null and void, and claimants seek damages of 584,115 US dollars with compound interest. The claimants nominate Professor Simon Bowen as the sole arbitrator. Points of defence raised by ES for containers 1 to 5 are the claimants were not party to the contract under the bill. The claimants had no proprietary rights in the goods or immediate right to possession. In any case, the claimants can recover only their loss and not the value of the containers. For containers 6 to 10, ES is not responsible for the spoilage under Clause A1 of the bill. 
the incorporation of the Hague Rules is voluntary and Article 38 will not strike out Clause A1. Any alleged breach of Article 3 Rule 2 is irrelevant. Respondents claim for a panel of three arbitrators under Rule 6.1 of the SCMA Rules. Respondents accept Professor Bowen's nomination and reserve their option to nominate a second arbitrator.